Well, hello and welcome to take two of Glen ZB TV for Tuesday. Uh, this is the show that puts Glen ZB up your periscope when the Wi-Fi works, which it didn't the first time around. That's why I'm, I'm doing this a second time. Uh, I'm, I'm trying for the second time uh, to uh, bring New Zealand to the world and the world to New Zealand. For the second time, I'm concerned about boobs, specifically boobs on bikes. I'm sorry if you've already seen this once, but um, people are really concerned about this, so I think we need to have another look at uh, that boob on the bike, uh, this boob on the mic on the bike. Are these jokes funnier the second time around if you saw them the first time around? Um, there's a boob on the back of not a bike, but a truck. A lot of people taking close-up photos. That, that there. Hey guys, thanks for sticking with me anyway. There, there, there's a bloke on a bike. with. He's sort of got boobs, I suppose. Anyway, uh, the concern is uh, the, that uh, young kids, because they're all on school holidays, uh, will see some boobs. Or some bikes. My concern is that um, if these people come off the bikes, there's going to be gravel rash in places where you're not supposed to ever get a gravel rash. That's going to cause some issues. I hope they've got a tube of Savlon standing nearby. That's septic cream of some kind. Uh, the TPP uh, finally came through uh, this morning, the, the deal. It was supposed to be announced at about 9 o'clock uh, yesterday morning New Zealand time, which is 24 hours. Really? This is how it's going to be today? Anyway, back to the TPP. Yes, after many hours, uh, it became a battle of attrition and everybody signed. I, want, I do wonder if it's a bit like uh, waterboarding uh, suspects in Guantanamo Bay, uh, that eventually they'll confess to anything. Uh, will the trade ministers of various different countries just sign anything if you keep them in a room long enough? If so, probably quite a good strategy. Uh, now, uh, world affairs... Uh, we've got people uh, in the running for Nobel Prizes. It's, it's Nobel Prize week. Uh, they've already given out some already. I think we've got physics or something today. Uh, Peace Prize at the end of the week. And uh, contenders for the Peace Prize include the Pope and Merkel. Uh, the closest I've ever come to winning a Nobel Prize is uh, being involved in radio awards, the New Zealand Radio Awards here in New Zealand. And um, that involves me putting together a, an award entry, which is a 10-minute sort of squashing up of an entire year's worth of radio shows. Uh, do the, does the Pope have to put together his own entry? Has he got somebody else to do that for the Nobel Prize? Um, you know, does he... Uh, remember that time I washed everybody's feet and kissed them and hung out with the homeless people? Remember that bit? Merkel's highlights of very boring outfits one after the other, a montage. Uh, what, what's, you know, how do, they, how do they get nominated for these things? Who puts them up? Uh, or, and then just how to win uh, generally, well, we're more in, in sport, there's a bit of consternation in the NRL Grand Final uh, this week because it was won by Golden Point. And some people, particularly the people who lost by the Golden Point, thought that this is not a good way to decide a rugby league game. And, and some other people, well, naming like, particularly Simon Dool, uh, have suggested that, that maybe they should go hockey's way and have a, a period of extra time where they drop a player off each team every, every couple of minutes uh, to make it harder and harder to defend the goal line. Not a bad idea. It's a bit complicated. I, like, I do like the idea of, of, of stealing from other sports, though. What about from, I don't know, gladiators? And they could just release the lions and other beasts. And then if anybody's still standing at the end of that, they win. I'm just throwing ideas out there. We're all friends. I'm not so friendly with the people who provide my internet connection today, but other than that. It started off so promisingly. There were so many boobs. And then it just ended up being me frozen and nobody watching. Anyway, thanks for sticking with me if you have. I hope it was worth it, even though I know it wasn't. Uh, tomorrow, who knows, maybe it'll go better. I will see you then. Thank you for having me up your periscope.